Norway now. I'm coming to the first place I'm going to fish. I arrived last night in a town called Namsis. Where I'm going right now is a place called Statland, okay? And this video here is just a bit of a quick catch up. Maybe we get some fish, but I have to introduce you to one of my sponsors. And his name is Bill Hurley. It's Bill Hurley's Lures from Cape Cod. And he's gonna sponsor me now with uh, paddle tails and stuff like that. So we're almost at the first mark I'm going to fish here in the wonderful town of Statland. Water's really deep here. There's one mark in this town, whatever, and it is 300 meters to the bottom. And you can get there from the shore. Spectacular. I did another video here. It's called Revenge of the Black Minnow. If you want to see that, I'm going to link that in the description. So we're almost there. This is an aquaculture center over here to the right. Don't know what they make there. Halibut maybe, something. So we pull in. This is where we started that. Yeah, this is exactly the same spot as I started in the, la in the other video, uh, Revenge of the Black Minnow. So I'm gonna run you through the lures. Today, we're gonna be fishing paddle tails. We're gonna be fishing slow jigs, perhaps. Yeah, that's it, so uh, let's go. Spring in Statland. The targets today are going to be pollock coddling and whatever else swims along. But that's basically it. The last time I was here, I caught, I think it was a seven pound pollock, my first redfish, uh, some gurnards and other things like that. Yeah, stuff. Anyway, my new sponsor, his name is Bill Hurley and he's from Cape Cod, I believe, or that area anyway. And uh, he contacted me, he said, hey, Billy, do you want to use some of my lures? I said, I don't know, I'll have a look. And then I had a look and they were brilliant. So then I wanted to use them. End of the story. Am I a sellout? Absolutely. Do I care? No, there's no ads in my channel or anything else. And anybody that can make my life cheaper and make my videos better and catch me more fish is all good to me. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> this is Bill's stuff here. These are all made by his own fair hands, as I understand. And this is the kind of thing we're gonna to use today. The tails themselves are impregnated with fish oil from sand eels and other stuff like that. And uh, yeah, he's got all sorts here. I don't know what a, bu a bunker is a type of small bait. So if these are to imitate them, it, it doesn't matter. They'll work the same over here, no doubt about it. And he's got all different sizes and weights and styles and everything else. And I run through these in every video that I use them. It's only fair. Today we'll be using these guys here and those guys over there, that's it. I'll show you how to put them together. Bill's put a lot of work into these. I mean, a lot of work. I'm gonna, they're too long for me to use right now. So I'm gonna cut them down and I'm gonna show you how to assemble them. I mean, a lot of people already know how, but if you don't know, you don't know. So you need to be shown, that's it. And there's a good way and a bad way to do everything. I use super glue, saves a lot of trouble. The rod is my usual, boom. Daiwa short spin by Vales. Yes, I think. Anyway, and Shimano 5000, yeah. 20 pound, eight strand braid, main line, 30 pound fluorocarbon leader. Yes, that's it. So we, we'll set one up. I'm gonna go with this guy here first, right? This one here is a 30 gram, so we're good. We got 40 grams, we got 25 and other stuff like that. But the water here is stupid deep. Where I'm gonna cast now, it sinks down to 70 meters of water. And it's like sheer, and the pollock hang out along the edge of that there. Today is Friday. Today is upload day. So the plan is today is to, to Make this video, cut this video, and post this video today. Hopefully. <laughs> it's quite a job, I know, but if we see how we got on, just to prove it. There we go. There's the time and the date. Okay, we good? And I will link Bill's channel. He's got a YouTube channel as well, so he's a tuber too. And uh, doubtless his website for the lures will be linked on there. We get one of these lures made up. The water looks filthy. I don't think we're gonna catch. Why is the water filthy? That's not bueno. Uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, this is the uh, 35 gram, I think. So this is this is too long. I think the fish will take it, no problem, but it's just not gonna cast so good for me. So I'm gonna take it off and I'm gonna redo it. Let's find that old hole there. There it is there, so I'll cut that off there. There you go. So if you're new to putting jig heads onto jigs, right? 
you mark where you want the jig to come out with the hook okay so right there take the, the jig and you mark it with, with the hook like this and Bill's got his name on the back so it's right there on the U actually and so right you want the tail to be down the bottom like this okay you have to pay attention to that as well otherwise you put it on upside down uh, pff, yeah I don't know how it goes really <laughs> it's quite a simple affair take your time go straight through the middle of the baits and then when it gets to the point where you want it to come out you just start to turn it it's just round about there for me there you go so then it goes on like this and then what I do is I take it just a bit a bit of super glue top and bottom that's it because when they get hit by the fish and you cast them and stuff they tend to come off so that's that perfectly done there now it's the size I want so that's the first jig there now the pollock are going to gobble that down <laughs> And these jigs are going to cast really well. The profile is excellent. So we get it on the rod, we get the first cast in. So I can see boys have been catching already. So we're going down here anyway. That's where I started the last time. So that's going to start this time. Right, now the water's not as bad as I thought it was. On my channel, I'm not selling you stuff. I wouldn't use Bill's jigs if they were bad, even though they were free. I wouldn't care. I'd just say, hit the brakes, Bill. You know what I mean? I only use good stuff. If it's cheap, that's just a bonus. If it's free, that's doubly good. Double bubble for Billy. I'm going to put you over here. And you're going to behave yourselves while I make the first cast. So, in time honored tradition, first cast fish. Let's find out. He's watching. Anyway, usually going up in my head, where you belong, where you should be. Well, we get some fishing done, we're down. So we'll start to retrieve. First of all, you take the slack out of the line. So I just like to wind slowly and steadily. It's not because the pollock or anything like it. Yeah, we're in straight away. First cast bloody fish, look at that. Oh. <laughs> yeah. oh lordy there's definitely a pollock it's gonna be a coddling in that oh. yes there he is yes nice pollock um, I'm hungry, so he's coming with me. Oh, you stop your messing there, mate. So if that isn't testament to Bill's jigs, I mean, first cast fish, it's about four pound by the look of it. I'm gonna go down here and get it without breaking my neck, hopefully. Yep, he's a nice one. There we go. That's why I wear these, these gloves. Yeah, he's a nice one. There we go. Up. So there's the jig. Right in his face. Bumski. Three and a half, four maybe. But it's my dinner as well. So I'm going to keep this fish. I'm going to icky Jimmy it. Everything else. I have a video on it. I will link it in the description, okay? Yes. There we go. So your man's bleeding out in the tide down there. We get the next cast in. It's not really that often you find that many in one place where it comes to pollock. So you generally have to move around. If I catch three fish, that's all. That's it and gone. Keepers. <laughs> three keepers, that's it. Because food is expensive. And I think you can agree that I'm not a greedy glut. So I don't take more than I need. Three fish will do me for the week. Uh, next cast is out over here. But there's obviously some type of structure here that they like because I swear to God, the last time I was here, first cast fish, it was a seven pound pollock. This one's about three, three and a half, four kind of a deal. Yeah, this is obviously the pollock spot. So I didn't even get to say why I do this retrieve here. Pollock will take an erratic bait. It's a myth. They will take an erratic bait, no problem. In fact, they love it. But when you're fishing in snaggy places, it's not good to jug 
jump and jig your, your jigs around, you get stuck more often. So that's that. Now we got that covered. Get them up before you get stuck. So yeah, you can see that just comes straight up there. So we got a sheer wall here. I'll show you on the charts. Since this is, this is the thing I'm gonna do from now on, I'm gonna show you just the mark where I'm fishing and why I'm fishing there, so it can help some people out. A lot of people say, yeah, we all know that, Billy. No, not everybody knows, right? Knowledge is something inherited. Some people learn it themselves, but a lot of people inherit it. And I'm gonna pass it on, that's it. So down it is. So uh, another tip for fishing water like this is just wind the slack of the line in slowly, right? The, w the line will cut through the water and the jig will come up closer to the edge where the fish are. If you wind it up off the bow, it will lift like this whoop, and come up higher in the water and you'll miss the structure at the edge where the pollock are. Not unless there's a, uh, a pinnacle out there or something, but that's another thing, okay? into the weed I think goodbye <laughs> it's as well not paying for them right <laughs> crap stuck you can wrap this around your rod but but with spinning rods and that they got cork handles a lot of the time or EVA or something like that and that will mess up the grips on your rod so I suggest you use a pulling stick like this just an opinion this works great with beach rods but not so great with spinning gear there we go, the leader popped I think. We wind this up, I most likely have to retie. Retie. Yep, okay. So I'm gonna try one of these guys here. There we go. Cape Cod sand deal, made from pure sand deal oil and ounce and a third I think. And what size is the hook? Looks like a 5 -0. anyway. So we'll give that a shot. Now I am gonna change the size. You've already watched me do it once, you don't need to see me do it again. So there we go. Boom, get in the water. So, next cast, Cape Cod sand eel. Maybe get a cod. Ha <laughs> ha, down it goes. If it catches Billy a great big cod, nobody knows. So I picked up a fish over there, that side as well, the last time it was here. So we give that a shot too. Okay, I think we've got what we're going to get out of this spot anyway. We'll move along a little bit. Anyway, so we'll jump along and we'll see what else we get. Okay. Yeah. So this is where I am right now. This place called Statland. Okay. And I am right here. Okay. So you can see there, you can see the water I'm fishing. That first line there is 20 meters and then there's 40 meters. And 50 and then out to 150 here. Okay, yes, and we are standing just around about there somewhere. So we see how far we have to cast to do what, right? And we just say that I am there right now, which is roughly where I am. And you press the button, and then you go out like that. So 20 foot, 30 meters, you're into 20 meters, of, over 20 meters of water, right? 78 meters. You're into 50 meters of water or 40 meters of water. 40 meters of water. You don't need to go any deeper than that. So that's where we're fishing. So I'm gonna put some casts out here. We're just a few feet up from where we were. I think it might, might be a farewell to this jig, but you know what I mean? When I was paying for them, I didn't care. And now I'm not paying for them. I still don't care. <laughs> Of course, if you're losing your shirt, you should probably go somewhere else. There's no reason not to try. At least a few casts anyway. Yeah, this place is not as deep as it was just there, right? The difference between moving a few feet, and I mean like a few feet, it makes a huge difference. I am probably not in a very good place. This is not a good place to fish. Now we try over here. So I say the rod was 15 to 60 grams. I did now. This is what I'd use for just standard fishing in Norway. I wouldn't go any lighter than this. So we'll go around the corner there instead. This is rubbish. It's amazing. That spot, brilliant fish here, crap. Absolutely worst spot ever, hate it. 
So we'll go over there where I'm not supposed to go, but I'm gonna go anyway. So under we go, we catch a fish. Who knows? Anyway, so. Where was I fishing the last time? I was over here. As I remember, it was rather snaggy as well. Yeah, this is where it was. The water was a bit higher then though, but so if we go down one more time, Mr. Cape Cod Sandale. Another fishy. Picked up a beast here the last time he busted me up. And the water is not good today at all. Really, they murk. And uh, generally you don't pick up when it's like that in Norway. But it might be clear below. That might just be on the surface though. Yeah, it's nice here. So far I haven't found any snags. It's not a fish, it's a rock. Damn! There we go. Up she comes. So I'll just check that hook. If you get stuck in a rock, check your hook. This is a good way to check your hook. Just make sure the point hasn't rolled on it or anything else. Then you can still see it sharp or just by doing that. This one is has had a couple of hits, but really good hook. So I'll be all right. I will have one more cast, one more. <laughs> I'm gonna try it over here. Oh, the last cast for this place, anyway. Then we're off around the corner. I think the water might be clearer around the corner for some reason. We got one. Yep. Oh, lordy. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, lord. I got out there, I got locked that drag up. Oh. oh. <laughs> that drag's really tight. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> this is a really good one. Might be a cowfish. Get up here. Man, he's in close. Here he is, here he is, here he is. Oh, it's a nice big pollock, yes. Yes, oh. Nice one. Yeah. You enjoying that sand ale, buddy? <laughs> yeah, where are we going with this guy? Another one for the dinner. Oh. oh, he's a nice one. He's like, Six or seven or something. Wah, dodgy. Oh, he's a nice one. Oh, yeah. Yes, big fish. Out, out. Hooked right in the lip there. He's mine. Yips. <laughs> so you've been down in a dark hole for 17 minutes I was just getting ready to show you the fish and uh, the camera fell off the rock and uh, bounced down in there <sighs> and Ripper App is a cruel mistress she really is a lot of times when you drop something it's gone forever so yeah I was very lucky obviously the fish is over there bleeding now I had to take care of the fish I thought if I lost the camera well there's no point in losing the fish as well. So we're gonna give you a look at the fish and then we're gonna move somewhere else and we're gonna fish for something else. Yeah, that's that. Whew, that was close. <laughs> Bumski. There she is. I'd say about six or seven. I'm gonna put scales on it, all right? Yeah. Let's see what the fish weighs. There you go. 
seven and a bit. Nice. My best pollock in Norway is 11 pounds seven, I think. It's 11 pounds seven. Yes, it is. 11 pounds seven. And my best on a spinning rod is nine, close to 10. So, uh, yeah, I want that double for a spinning rod. And uh, I believe Statland is the place to do it. I really do. Great fish here. So who knows what's going to come. So I'm going to get these guys cleaned up into the cooler. They've been bled. I was going to weigh this other guy before I do that. What have we got? Four. Yeah, just over four. So off to the next spot. I've changed my mind. I'm not going to fish for any more big fish. I'm going to fish for some bait. That's what I'm going to do because I need some bait anyway. some coley there or something or a huge van <laughs> right down here so here we go bit of bait fishing boom so this is what we got 60 gram slow jig 60 assists on it and we got these uh, bait feathers that I make myself I also have a video on that as well if you want to see how that's done I'll link that in the description as well so yeah, we're just gonna spin for some collie. See if we can get some bait. And uh, there should be some collie around. You don't have to go all the way to the bottom or anything. So I got enough for the dinner. And now I need some bait to go fishing with. And we'll be grand. Oh, the water is manky today. I don't know how I caught anything. It must be clear underneath or something. I don't think I'm gonna catch anything more. I thought it'd be clearer around here, but it's not, it's filthy. So that's it now, I'm gonna give up. It's no fish, I have enough to eat. So we call it a day now. Noise. That's it for me now. Two great pollock. I didn't get any bait, but I'll pick some up somewhere. So I'm Billy, this is Billy catching pollock in mid-Norway. Fish on, I'll see you on the beach. Bye.